Today's consumer virtual reality systems offer limited haptic feedback via vibration motors and handheld controllers. Rendering haptics to other parts of the body is an open challenge, especially in a practical and consumer-friendly manner. The mouth is of particular interest as it is second in terms of tactile sensitivity to the fingertips and thus offers a unique opportunity to add fine-grained haptic effects. In this research, we iteratively developed a new and compact way to achieve haptics on the mouth. More specifically, we use a thin, compact beamforming array of ultrasonic transducers which focuses acoustic energy onto the mouth. Importantly, all components are integrated into the headset, meaning the user does not need to wear an additional accessory or place any additional infrastructure in their room. We explored several effects including single impulse, pulse trains, swipes in the X, Y, and Z directions, and persistent vibrations. Our haptic sensations can be felt on the lips, teeth, and tongue, which can be incorporated into new and interesting VR experiences. For example, in this haunted forest scenario, users must walk through a spider web to get to a small clearing. Upon touching a spider web, an X swipe is animated, simulating the spider web being drawn off the face. In the clearing, a spider jumps onto the user's mouth, which generates random impulses that simulate an insect scurrying around the face. Later, the user must shoot a flare gun at a spider, exploding it into goo that splashes the user. This utilizes random impulses centered on the mouth at a higher frequency. Finally, there is a large boss spider dripping with venom that rains down onto the user, manifesting as random Y swipes on the mouth. We also created a school simulation with various real-world objects such as this water fountain. When the user leans in and their lips meet the water stream, they feel a series of rapid vibrating impulses. Later, they find themselves in the break room where they sit down to drink some coffee, utilizing animated Z swipes to simulate liquid entering the mouth. They can also take a puff of a cigarette, which manifests as a high-frequency, persistent note on the lips. Finally, the user brushes their teeth before returning to work. Upon lifting the toothbrush to their mouth, our system animates a haptic node moving back and forth. Our final demo scenario is a motorcycle racing game. Our system animates a wind effect by rendering two outward-moving swipes on the lips. On the track, there are boxes that break apart on collision. When this happens, we generate a single impulse on the user's lips lasting 500 milliseconds. It then starts to rain, which manifests as a series of slow impulses that hit the mouth in random locations. Puddles are now left on the track that can splash the user, which our system haptically renders as a series of rapid random location impulses on the lips. In addition to a formal perception study, we use these scenarios to gather qualitative feedback on our technique. In our survey results, we found that mouth haptics boosted immersion, realism, and other important factors in virtual reality experiences. For full implementation and evaluation details, please see our paper.